The Super Mario Bros. Super Show Episode 1 starts with an amazing theme song, but it's not the theme song you're thinking of. That one only plays at the end of the episode. The one at the start is a rap song because Super Mario is cool. The show starts with the Mario Brothers asserting their strongly held commitment to cleanliness while picking disgusting slops of pasta off each other's overalls. When suddenly, from the inside mirror of their medicine cabinet for some reason, appears Charles and Charge star Nicole Egger. I'm checking the expiration date on your toothpaste. It's very important, you know. Nicole needs help with a clogged drain and came to the Mario Bros off the strength of an enormous ad on the front page of the newspaper, really burying the lead about the teacher's contract language completed? I know those words, but that sign makes no sense. Although Nicole is in a hurry to get to a party and already sold on the plumbers as her top choice for the job, the Mario brothers insist on demonstrating that they can in fact unclog a drain, then proceed to completely fail at unclogging a drain, getting disgusting backup drain water all over their new potential customer, but not before Mario does the weirdest dance ever with his hands. Do the Marios! We then move on to part two of the Mario Bros hip hop theme song, this first providing some additional context to how the Mario Bros ended up in the Mushroom Kingdom essentially through the sheer hapless buffoonery which would become a trademark of their many misadventures, with Luigi taking out all of King Koopa's troopas accidentally while innovating a maneuver that would later comprise the entirety of Sonic's original moveset. We're then plopped right in the middle of the story, with the Mario Bros and Toad escorting Princess Toadstool, who is legally distinct from Princess Peach, through a barren ice world. A blind and likely concussed Birdo immediately kidnaps Toad, confusing him for her son Cheepy, and Mario and Peach endeavor to save Toad, while well, Luigi immediately outs himself as a coward. I can't! I'm allergic to mountains! Thus establishing a lifelong character arc for our perpetual player 2, and showcasing his crazy leg jump from the second game. Meanwhile, antics ensue, with Birdo treating Toad as her lost child, despite this Joe Pesci meets Gilbert Gottfried sounding mushroom creature looking and sounding nothing like him. What are you trying to do, you wacko boy? Later, the Mario Party encounter a chasm on their way up the mountain, and Luigi immediately starts crying. Mario delivers his classic catchphrase, power! which likely paved the way for Sonic's famous catchphrases, Got it, juice it loose. and I'm juicing back. We're then introduced to our main antagonist, King Koopa, who is legally distinct from Bowser and asserts his dominion over these little snow guy minions by making them lick his feet, Tomatoes. and sends out these call center birds to do his bidding. A bomb battle ensues with the Albatross trapping the Mario crew under an avalanche, only for Mario to acquire his first fire flower and lead the group to free them. They find Cheepy frozen in ice, Toad saves himself from certain doom by using his mushroom cap as a parachute? Wait, those caps aren't just part of their heads? What are Toads? Are they human? I guess they're like a weird race of mushroom worshipping baby humans? I, I better not look too much into this. In the final showdown, our heroes are surrounded by legions of Koopa's ground troops and air bombers, all of whom are easily defeated by a big bag of vegetables. The reunited Birdo family invite Mario and friends over for a celebratory dinner, where they're confronted by an angry anthropomorphic talking worm and chiefly get the f*** out of Dodge. Back in the real world, calamity ensues when Luigi narrowly prevents Nicole Eggert from sitting on a cake that's on a chair for some reason, guiding her to get dried off on their furnace which immediately covers her in soot, before walking into the cake which Luigi moved to the floor for some reason, only to then sit down on a plate of pasta that is once again on a chair for some reason and then finally just straight up getting covered in garbage. After a preview for a new Legends of Zelda cartoon, which honestly looks awesome, I'm definitely going to check that out, the Mario Brothers attempt to profusely apologize to Nicole, only to find out that she's going to a sloppy party. It's a sloppy party. See, the person who dresses the sloppiest wins. We don't run a sloppy shop. You go from slopper to proper. I made them extra sloppy for you. Sloppy steak sets your bonnies. Big rare cut of meat with water dumped all over. What are sloppy steaks? It's a steak with water dumped on it. It's really, really good. At which point they proceed to rub cake all over her body. And then we get our grand finale. Captain Lou Albano leaving us all in a rousing rendition of Do the Mario. With such nuanced instructions as Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go do the Mario. And take one step. And then again, let's do the Mario all together now! They kind of sound like something Homer Simpson would make up on the spot, before sticking the perfect landing. Don't you want a second take for protection? What's to protect? It was perfect. Huh? That was episode one of the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, and this was Sewer Surfing, where we traverse the vast wasteland of random TV episodes. Maybe we'll do the Ninja Turtles. Maybe we'll do the Ellen Burstyn Show. Make sure to subscribe to our Patreon to get your name in the Bazooka Buddies credit corral, 
and a chance to submit your suggestions for new episodes we might review. Till next time, everybody, do the Mario! Spaghetti on your overalls. <laughs> and you have a little bit of spaghetti sauce on your shirt. Hey, you slob, that's my pizza. Before you can say spaghetti and meatballs. Hasta power! And I was hoping for a nice salami sandwich. I hate to run on an empty stomach. I'm hungry enough to eat anything. Patty cake, patty cake, pasta man. Give me pasta power as fast as you can. Pasta power! I'd pay 200 bucks for a nice pepperoni cheesecake right now. That's the best news I've had in days. My favorite dish, spaghetti. We'll make you free pizza. Eat your fucking slop.